Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh and Adisha by Hashem and Mashiach Yahushat. Second of all, I'd like to give double honor and glory to the elders who taught us this truth and paved the way for us to come to grow in this truth. And today, I'd like to come back with a quick video on Control Your Tongue. And this video goes, well, this rebuke goes uh, for me too because this is something I really had to work on on myself. And really, so I suggest brethren read the whole chapter. But um, let me just get some key verses. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, verse 19 and verse, I mean, chapter 19 and verse 6. Ecclesiastes 19 and 6. He that can rule his tongue shall ha shall live without strife. If you know if you know how to watch your mouth, you can live without problems. And he that hated babbling shall have less evil. If you just, if you just keep quiet and like you don't just start saying rubbish then uh less evil will happen to you for seven rehearse not unto another that which is told unto thee and thou shalt fare never the worst con so like don't let somebody tell you something don't go on uh telling other people the same thing or anything really like let that secret die with you and like you'll be good verse eight whether it be friend or foe because like obviously don't talk about your friends but like people people in this world like most people would like uh would agree to the first part but most people don't really uh think about the second part or like go against the second part like they want to see their enemies fall even if it's of their own people talk not of other men's lives and again this is a rebuke on me because i'm not righteous like i'm trying to be righteous but just doing the best that I can. We can't talk about other men's lives. And if thou canst without offense, reveal them not. Con, so like, if you know what you're going to say is going to cause some type of offense, don't talk about people. Verse 9. For he had, for he heard and observed thee, and when time cometh, he will hate thee. Con, so like, when you talk about people, like, most of the time, like, they'll know, and then, like, they'll be like, oh, you're the person that was talking about me. Verse 10. If thou has heard a word let it die with thee and be bold be bold it will not burst thee Conch, like you hear your secret like you're not gonna die just keep it to yourself um okay that little short excerpt but um of course um i believe it's leviticus 19 something i believe actually probably exodus 20 exodus 20 Leviticus nineteen sixteen, thou shalt not go up and down as a tail bearer among thy people. Con so like concerning your people, which if you're watching this, you're probably Israelite. So uh, Shalom Ak or Ak Wak, and um, what's it called? Like we can't be telling other people. Like basically, we can't be uh talking about people. I mean, like obviously, like we can uh talk about people, but like. Uh, we can't go around like spreading gossip or like rumors and lies about people of our own nation. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor, on the Lord. Uh, so we can't like go around like spreading rumors, things about people of our nation, and we can't like we can't just stand there and like watch our brother brother get killed. So basically, the gist of this video, which is a rebuke for. Which is a rebuke for me and as well as anybody who needs to hear this. Um, we gotta we gotta learn how to control our mouth and our tongues. That way that we don't offend people and offend ourselves. Oh no! Oh yeah! And um, of course, I would be I would be going off if I didn't get this. Proverbs eighteen twenty one. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Conch, so like, what you say might end up killing you. Or, like, what you say, like, the words you say 
I end up killing you in the course, you see, you might, might end up sparing you. Like, because obviously, everything comes to the mind first, but like, everything comes to the mind first, and what your mind does, or what your mind is thinking, is what you're, what you're gonna do. But like, you could think a wicked thought, and like, just immediately rebuke it, but like, when you commit the action, like, like, say you think an evil thought about somebody, and, and like, but like you can rebuke the thought, but like when you say it, when you say it, that's on the like say it or like you do the action, that's on a whole different level because you actually let that co thought come into fruition when you could just rebuke it. So basically, that that my friend power tone. But anyway, this is just a rebuke, quick rebuke of myself and others who need to hear it about how we gotta control and bridle our tone. But anyways, I hope somebody got edified, and I pray to y'all, pray for me, I pray for y'all, and I pray to y'all, I'm going to pray for each other. But I like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by Shimon, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shalom.